Even countries in openly declared war haven't experienced such killings ongoing in Nigeria. Peter Obiri has the Christmas massacre. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. Obi lamented that even some countries in open declared wars did not experience the level of insecurity, violence and killings ongoing in Nigeria. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 general elections, P2B, has decried the killings around in the country during the Christmas break, particularly in Plateau, Castina, and Zamfara states. Obi lamented that even some countries in open declared wars did not experience a level of insecurity, violence, and killings ongoing in Nigeria. The Labour Party candidate eulogized Nigerian security operatives saying the Nigerian soldiers, police officers, and other security agents in the country were overstretched and most time did not get the prayers and sympathy of citizens. Obi, a former governor of Anambra State, said this in a series of posts he made on X, formerly known as Twitter, on Tuesday as part of his Christmas message and reaction to the terrorist attacks and killings in Plateau, Zamfara, Kaduna, and other states in the country. Obi, who also consoled, consoled or condoled with the families of the terrorist attack victims, said, and I quote, As we celebrate this season of peace and love and the approach of a new year, I like to spare a thought for our compatriots in uniform. After my sympathy visit to the region of Oba community in Anambra State, for the recent horrific killing of people in a nice cloth in that community, plus the mindless act of terrorism that occurred on Christmas Day in Plateau State, where the death toll is now reportedly more than 100, with over 300 injured. With the sudden act of violence that have occurred in Zamfara and Castina State, where farmers were killed and several others kidnapped, and the many violent attacks in many parts of the country, which may go unreported, my thoughts went to our overstressed security operatives. The men and women of our armed security services come to mind. They are gallant troops in various battlefronts of insecurity. The policemen and women are patrolling our cities and highways, the Civil Defense Corps and the Department of State Security Service operatives. These illustri illustrious citizens are often lost in our thoughts and prayers, both as leaders and fellow citizens, yet they remain the guarders and protectors of our freedom as a people. I am also thinking of those who in the call of duty have, have to spend this festive sitting season away from the comfort of their homes and the embrace of loved ones. I am referring to those who face the risk of a supreme sacrifice to protect and defend the freedom of our dear nation and the liberties that come with our democracy. Let us spare them our thoughts and prayers this season. A grateful nation for your services and sacrifices. God bless you for all for what you do for us all. And to all the families who have lost their loved ones to these acts of violence, do accept my sincere condolences. These are very challenging times in our nation. Even some countries in an open, declared wars have not experienced this level of insecurity, violence, and loss of human lives. Let us continue to pray for our nation that God will heal our land. Sincerely, you see, people wait there for countries. Eh? There have been news about violence attacks everywhere. Let me tell you people the truth. But like I said, anytime I see any gory graphic images, eh? You know what they use to zoom past this period. I'm very, very protective of my mental health all around Nigeria. And this is what I was dreading. This particular news. It happened so last Christmas. It happened so over Christmas. Now the question is, why is it reoccurring? Why are there not things or strategies please kept in place so that these things do not be your core? Why? Hmm. Even in the face of massive massacres across the country, those born and raised in religious hatred are still attacking him for condemning the killings. And we keep praying and fasting and asking God to perform miracles in Nigeria. Those people just they plea, I they tell you. 
The ongoing killings in Nigeria are absolutely infuriating and disgraceful. It is beyond comprehension and that even countries engaged in openly declared wars have not witnessed at such a level of senseless violence and bloodshed. The sheer disregard for human life is appalling and is an absolute disgrace that the situation in Nigeria has reached such a catastrophic level. The government failure to protect its citizens and address this crisis is nothing short of infuriating. How can we stand by and allow such atrocities to continue? It is high time that the international community, community take decisive action and hold those responsible for these killings accountable. The anger and frustration towards this ongoing tragedy in Nigeria completely justified and we must demand immediate and effective intervention to put an end to this horrific cycle of violence. May God bless and keep you for us, my able, reliable president, who have all it takes to position Nigeria in the path of progress. My own is that, where are we going to? Where do we go from here? Like I said, these occurrences happen every time. No jokes apart. Every single time. You cannot come and tell me that these people that are doing this thing, they are not known to the... No, no, no. It's not possible. They are known. Nigerian citizens are just playing with the life of citizens. Nigerian politicians are just playing with the life of citizens. I kid you not. That is what is going on. There is war in Nigeria too, but hunger and bad leadership inflicted war. They have made it to look like a way of life. And they tell you we, are, we, are, we were Asian to this kind of news before. But all of a sudden, it started occurring, and before you know it, it now became an, a reoccurrence that, you know, like I said, I start dreading it whenever it is now. It was a unitized season. Somebody is saying, lamentation always, give us solution. Let him give you solution that he's lamenting always. I don't blame you, sure. Hey, and you real, you no go see the type because if you see the type, this one we talk here, you no go talk on. And the sacred single most important purpose of government is protection of lives and property. Thank you, Mr. Peter B, for your consistency in demanding for a safe, equitable, and prosperous Nigeria. Nigeria is currency. We know they war, but it was we was past people with the war. If you calculate the number of killings we don't have on this period, you could ask yourself, see what is going on. Nigeria is presently experiencing complex war with unknown enemies, and that is why the holistic approach is needed. Government should be very close to the people in terms of warfare and intelligence gathering. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come here next time, enjoy. The rest of your day.